What's up, you guys? Um, so, uh, I'm just being lazy. I hope you guys are having a really good day. But a couple of you were asking about the yearbooks that I bought. And I totally forgot about these, you guys. They've just kind of been hanging out on my um, coffee table. So, this is the Groton School Yearbook. It's from 1955. Um, Groton is a school that's very prestigious. It's an academy that is private school. It's a private school. Um, but kind of looking at it, you guys, this is a little bit of the layout of their um, facility. So you can see it's a huge compound of different buildings and different halls. So this is the Groton School Yearbook. Um, Obviously, you can see it has some marks in it. I don't know who this belonged to. Um, let's see here. Oh my gosh, I love the photos from back in the old days. But to Peter O'Connell, whose unselfish dedication and guidance will be sincerely missed by us in the school. So maybe that was a teacher, a president, president, principal. Um, and then, and in memory of Paul S. Ditson. Oh, I wonder what happened to him. But people just look so classy back then, you guys. The guys were, like, so handsome, and the girls were, like, so classy and just pretty. Mr. and Mrs. Crocker. Um, just kind of goes into some history about the school and what happened for the year of 1955. I remember when yearbooks were a really big deal, you guys. And then you were like on the yearbook committee and I was actually a part of the yearbook committee in my school and you had like the photographers and everyone but a lot of this is just like kind of history and like what actually went on all the different sports so like tennis baseball you know really just everything that everyone went through throughout the year and then it looks like here we've got third form year so there's like a class photo of I'm assuming these are either group photos of the different grades and then we just kind of go into the alumni so I like these pages because this is actually photos of students who got accepted into these colleges. So these people, so like this guy named Thatcher, he went to Yale. Kenneth went to Harvard. Henry, he went to Yale. Verdi, Harvard. Michael Williams. Richard went to Yale. So it's really cool to see like where these folks went. Lots of Yale people. Um, they just look so classy. One thing I was noticing in this book, though, is most of the guys that actually went to um, extended school university were men. You didn't really see any girl pictures in here for that, which was kind of weird, but I guess for back in the day, that was standard. Um, he's handsome. But I was like interested in like Googling some of these people and just wondering like, I mean, these people have to be someone, you know, they're very smart. They're either like high end executives or CEOs in our world today. Um, I'm assuming they were probably like 18 in the 50s. So what does that mean? How old are they now? Most of them are probably gone. He looks very um, current. David does. This guy looks sad. He looks current too. He looks like somebody you would see on Instagram. And then it goes into like the different group photos. Baseball squad. Look at that, you guys. That was so cool back then. I wish I could transform into that period of time. Their tennis uniform was really cute. Well, actually, that's lacrosse. No, 
it's not. It's rowing. They're rowing right here. And then there's more tennis. Look at the choir. You know what I'm thinking? is that this school may have been an all boys school at this time. I know that they have female and male students now, but I bet you in the 50s it was an all boys school. Oh look, these were the yearbook boys. So, let's see. Bakewell? This is Bakewell. He was a photographer and a, I can't talk. He was a photographer and an editor for the yearbook. Um, Victor was also a photographer and editor for the yearbook. And then this one was an editor for the press. So that's Harold. And then we have Kenneth. Kenneth was the editor in chief. And then this is Lee. Lee was the business manager for the yearbook and handled the finances. That's so cool. So they put this book together. I don't know what bell ringers are, but these are the bell ringers. I'm assuming it's kind of like a singing thing. And this is the drama club. And then there's some different photos from the plays that they did. These are the teachers. So this is all the faculty. And then this is the debate team. They called it the debate society. Probably like the lawyers of the world to, in the, back in the day. Hockey, they look like prisoners. Oh, look at the basketball team. That's so cool. This is just some group photos that they put together. Oh, there was a dance. That's the St. Mark's dinner. Tables were so close together. Oh, the football squad. They look like they're in jail too. Look at these little kids. First form. Huh. That's the football first or the letterman. I'm assuming he was like the quarterback or like the cool one. Different football plays. Oh, they had a soccer team. Look at this guy. He's very dashing. He's like kneeled down like Prince Charming. This guy's a little awkward. I love this book, you guys. Some more candid photos. These guys were a part of the Athletic Association. Oh, there's um, the football guy. The Missionary Society. Oh, 
One thing that I noticed about these books is they didn't write messages in here. They just basically went along and got their friend signatures. I wonder what guy this book belonged to. Ugh, I wish it was in here. But I do want to go through and like find all these people because you know that the people that signed it are his friends. So I bet you I could start like looking through this book, finding each of these names, tagging them with like a post-it note and figuring out like the circle of friends. They didn't have the best penmanship. But you would think whoever's book this was would be written in here. But I didn't see that. John E. Maybe this is the guy that owns it. Maybe he put his name on the top and then everyone else put theirs under it. I don't know. But I just wanted to share this with you guys. This is just one of the yearbooks that I had. If you find this boring, I don't blame you. I en quite enjoy things like this. Um, I think they're just really interesting. They're kind of blasted the past. And um, I have a lot more. So maybe I'll put another one depending on the views of this. But um, very cool. Really happy to um, be an owner of these books. I have couple more of these Groton ones because it was a very prestigious school and then I've got some other schools just from like Florida, California. Um, those are more from like the 60s though but I will see you guys later. Love you. Bye.